Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome back to New Washington, D.C. In today's episode, we are going to build a shipping terminal for this city. We're going to have a cruise port and a cargo port coming out of down here. However, the very first thing that we want to do is reclaim some land. We're going to take back what is rightfully ours and... Let's go to the info views. We are going to take back a lot of this land here for our cargo uh, and ped pedestrian uh, cruise terminals. Now, very first thing that we want to do is we want to cover a few zoning changes that we've made. We've dezoned everything that has buildings over here and zoned the last little bit of ore. You can see there is no ore left up here, so all these buildings are useless, they aren't stripping it out, and we've zoned the little bit that is left. We have also dezoned all of this industry up here. Uh, I want all these people to move out of town, I want them to move on, and I want to depollutinate. I want the ground to be removed of all of its toxins. I also did a little bit of changing around on the... Uh, industries down here. This is the last little bit of oil. We've removed the zoning for all of the things that are already built and This is the last little bit of oil over here and down here So we've zoned all of that off. So none of this is gonna feel fill in right away We need to keep an eye on it because we're probably gonna lose some electricity and stuff like that But we're gonna go ahead and hit play get into the episode bump it up to three times speed Yeah, we've got a lot of unhappy people over there. They're losing their jobs. However, Hopefully they can find a new one and stay with us here. Uh, we do have still growing in population from our massive Green Hills expansion in the last episode. Uh, we're still growing 200 in turn. Uh, we did add a couple of cemeteries and crematoriums on each side of town over here in Hickory Heights. Uh, we bumped up the electric a little bit. As you can see, we've got a problem here. And I don't know how far we need to run this down, but probably to something like this. Uh, none of those matter. We don't want them to have electric. We want them to move out of town, so that's fine. And there's a fire. Now, let's go up here and check things out. All right, they are all peacefully moving out, no problem. And down here, they are all mostly peacefully moving out. Oh, and there we go. There's the electric problem. Where is it? Um, uh, it's up here, I bet. Somewhere over here? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to do it. Is that going to connect everything? There we go. Alright, and that should be fine for a little while. Alright. Alright. Managed to make it out of that alive. Good job. Okay, so... Yeah, the last remaining few buildings. Uh, we're gonna go through and delete a lot of roads here. We'll join you back in a second. And let's go ahead and check out our academic year report. Uh, so, we can go to view campus. We have plenty of academic works, we have plenty of students, we just need campus attractiveness, and the next episode, I believe, maybe this episode if we have time, we're going to go through, level out a lot of this terrain, re-organize uh, how the buildings are laid out, and get the campus attractiveness up to level 5, so that we can call that good. Now, back to bulldozing. Alright, now, if anything in Applegate District wants to continue to build, they have to build right there. I think we left something down here zoned. Yes. So let's go ahead. Alright, now, Applegate District is about to... Uh, burn down, really. Uh, we still haven't put down a helicopter fire depot. Which is right here. We could put this down somewhere in the city. Hmm. I guess centrally located would be the best. And somewhere close to water. Huh. Um. Maybe put this responsibility on uh, Victoria Square. Or maybe... Uh, let's do this. 
Let's run this road back here. And let's put it there, maybe. Oh, that is not what we want. Can we put it here? Yeah. I think this will work. Uh, all the buildings around it don't mind the noise. I think that is a perfect spot for that. Just behind the train station. Yeah. Kind of out of sight, out of mind. Above from view from the highway. You probably see the helicopters taking off every once in a while. Alright, we need to get some water to it. However, I like that. Let's go ahead and just run down the street. Alright, so... It should be able to deploy if we still need. I think we'll be alright. Now, let's go ahead and cut down this zone over here. And there we go. So Applegate District is very much closed off. Now, we are going to... Allow that to harvest the last bit of resources out of it. Get the ground cleared again. Up here, we're waiting for this ground to clear a little bit. However, we need to move the recycling centers before it will actually clear all the way. Uh, we also need to start watching this. However, let's go ahead and start reclaiming some land. And this is the process that's going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, now, we have not much soil available. We're going to bump this up to the highest that we can. And we need to remove soil. And that's what I have... That's the idea I have with this mountain here. So we're going to go ahead. We'll just do this level. And we're going to start removing some of the soil back here off this mountain. Uh, I don't know how low I want to make the mountain. I want to obviously keep it a mountain. Because uh, it looks good. And also it is at the corner of our property. So no matter what, it will always be some sort of a mountain. And if you do it too much, if you remove all of this on your side, on that side it will, will have this white line coming down no matter where you look. So I want to keep a peak up there, but I'm not sure how much. So we will remove some of that. And now that we've filled our soil, we can come down here. Uh, so the trick is you want to probably be about four... Uh, steps up from the water level. You can see the water level line. So we will probably want to be about there. I would say. And we're going to go ahead and just reclaim some land. We'll just fill up the outside here. And you will see it will immediately get overflowed with water. And that's fine. This is a long, slow process to reclaim land. It takes quite a while. You can see everything behind us is just getting flooded with water. And you can pause the game and do this, uh, but I find it's much better to go with the slow method. See, this might even flood everything on our shore there. Uh, I like to go with the slow method and slowly remove things. And if we had actual buildings and stuff in this area, you wouldn't be able to do this. You see, everything is flooding. All of that will wash out in a second. It should be fine. Uh, but you can see what I mean, that everything flooded very quickly. Now, up here, I want to, as discussed, I want to install a hydro dam. The hydropower plant, flowing water, is an infinite source of kinetic power. Find a strong current in a river and build a dam to access this source of clean energy. So we're going to close off most of this river with a dam. However, the dam is... We want to level the train a little bit. Uh, the dam is... So oh, I think this is taller? Let's see. Yeah, this is a little bit taller. So we want to... I guess we need to get some soil, huh? <laughs> uh, so we want to come over here. We want to go to this. Actually, we want to go like here. Uh, remove some of this soil. Off the mountainside. And that should be enough, more than enough, for what we need to do here. Then we want to level the terrain to, I would say, this height. Just a little bit over here, but this might add quite a bit over here. See? Now, we want that at this height. You can see the power lines are still there, but that's fine. Uh, and actually, huh. So we actually want it on the other height. We do, Well, we're going to redo the bridge. Yeah. 
we kind of want it more this height over here. Oh, let's go with this height. And just level this out, make a nice platform. And we'll do the same on this side and do a nice platform. And I want to get this raised up just a bit. There we go. And whenever we do this, it's going to add a lake behind this. Waiting for it to auto save. It's going to add a little bit of a lake behind this underneath the bridge. Now we are going to rebuild the bridge. Um, so you want this kind of center in the, uh, in the river. And I'm thinking right there. So as you can see, we did remove a few rocks, but that's fine. We're going to remove a few more probably. And we may have to even... Let's go to this info views here. Oh, uh, that should be all right. We might not have to level the land at all. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So that should be just fine. It's going to create a little bit of a lake here, bringing the water up all to the sides. However, this area, these areas up here are much more uh, uphill, so they should not drown, and everything should be just fine with that. You want to keep an eye on these because sometimes they're not working, not operating, as you can see. So we may have to lower this terrain here. Something like this. And then that should get it going. Come on now, little buddy. Come on now. All right, so we've got a little bit more land here. Let's go ahead and unload this. Over here, and you can see we... Oh. And there we go. Wait for that to clear out. Is this operating? Oh, come on now. Why are you not working? You should be working. We may need to lower this as well. Is it working now? Yeah, there we go. It is working now. Only 96. There we go. All right, 144. So as mentioned, we're going to move this, this bridge here. We're going to move this train bridge. We're going to move all of this. Uh, we might have to do it sooner than later, but I'm hoping not. But we're going to move all of that away from this area. And are we still operating normal? 176, all right. Now let's make sure this is connected by one of these power lines here. No, of course not. There we go. Huh, and it's not connected there? Makes no sense. Interesting. All right, we flood anything again? Looks like a little. Not too bad though. Doesn't look like the businesses are affected. We have a few problems with not enough customers. We're not building anything over here. We might just go ahead and get rid of this, but I know there's still some uh, some ore in the ground there. Hmm. Yeah, we may just get rid of that and leave the ore in the ground. How's the lake looking? Might need to turn that on. All right, so we are going to cut off camera. I'm going to continue this process, this very slow process of bringing out the land. And this should take quite a bit of time. However, as you can see, we're still growing 300 per turn. Uh, we are going to add a little bit of commercial and I noticed that we didn't have much commercial around this area. So I want to finish this off and then put some high density on the corners. And do the same thing on this side. Did we do the inside? Yes, we did. And actually, that can finish filling. Oh, okay, maybe not. 
Okay, so we've got a little bit more commercial. That's the only demand that we have. Now, we're going to go ahead and cut off camera, pick up the action in just a second. Uh, we will have a lot more land, hopefully, by the time we come back, and we'll see you in a bit. Picking up where we left off, we have finished reclaiming the land. You can see there are still some flooded spots. Now, I just threw down some roads. And you can see, because it was flooded there, it went ahead and built a bridge. Uh, I just threw down a few roads just to get these two ports operational. Uh, the reason that I am all the way back here, uh, I wanted to reclaim a lot more land, but I know that the, the boats will come in on this line, and they will follow this line. I was afraid that if I filled in all of this land, I actually had it filled in to about here. I was afraid that the ships would go through the land, because sometimes they glitch like that. So, we have our cargo shipping terminal right here, our cargo hub, and here is our pedestrian cruise ship terminal. Nothing coming in on the horizon yet. We have water to them, we have electric to them. Um, I've just got, like I said, a very simple road layout. Just some one-way streets, so a roundabout here. If you're going that way, you gotta go that way. If anything that you're working on over here in the Sunset Park for the oil industry. And we might be getting close to... Yeah, we've still got a bit. Let's go ahead and dezone this real quick. Let's get these things out of here. And then we may be able to delete a little bit more of a road. Yeah, looks like it. Let's go ahead and delete this road. Now, anything that you need in this area, you have to take from the roundabout. And you can see how drastic this is. Uh, I want to do a lot more uh, landscaping and getting all of this area level and in different terrains. I don't like this highway at all, obviously. However, just wanted to throw some roads down, get these two shipping terminals operational, let you see the boats coming in and going out. Now, this is a cargo hub, and we are not hooked up to... A train station over here we should have just put down the cargo harbor for start uh, and then the cargo hub but I've already got it down and I want to make sure I think that it will still ship stuff even without the train uh, the train does make it a lot better however but if I it, you know there's no other reason this truck should be going down here other than our first shipment out of town there we go all right so he unloaded his uh, looks like propane or petrol or I don't know he unloaded his cargo and there's another one all right any boats coming in yet no boats coming in yet uh, I would also like to real quick take a quicker look around the city we have a few problems with educated workers we have a few problems with customers we have a few problems we need to address but uh, real quick, I did raise this. You can see this is a lot higher than our standard level down here. Uh, just to keep any kind of surge from the river coming in. Um, but all of this is a lot lower level, and this is more of the sea level. You can see we are flooding, actually, over here. But that should wipe up just, just fine. And... Once we get this oil out of the ground, we will level this off into better terraces of, of more how I like it, how I want it to look. Uh, the mountain, I kind of want to keep the integrity of the mountain, so we might just slope this terrain down and kind of keep this level. Um, but, still got some flooding problems. All this water should exit out of here, and if not, we can level the terrain a little bit more to this height here. But we should be just fine here real soon, once this water does finally settle down. I'd like to show you a cruise ship However, another thing that I want to go ahead and do is I would like to relocate all of these up here. Get them out of the way of the cruise ships and the shipping cargo. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And we need a deep canal. I don't know that we need a wide one. We need a medium. We'll do medium. And let's go ahead. That should be enough. And that's going to go ahead and splash around a lot of water. Let's go to our terrain height again. Yeah, that should splash around a whole lot of water. 
Maybe nothing because it's so deep. Yeah, I think we had the same thing the last time. It was it didn't do anything because it was so deep. You can see the entire time that I was building and having flooding problems. Uh, I was having fire problems over here, and even with the floods, wouldn't put out the fires. <laughs> Unfortunately, just didn't have that kind of luck. Ah, there goes a cargo ship. We missed it. That is, yes. Ah, uh, is that a cruise ship or a cargo ship? I can't tell in the in the distance like that. Driving through all that sewage. That looks like a cruise ship, actually. I believe we missed our first transport. Either way, sorry guys, didn't notice. Now, back to what we were doing. I would like to relocate all of these. Let's go ahead and look here. All right. I'd like to relocate all of these. However, um, I want to pause the game, that way we don't disrupt all of our services. Sorry, that took a lot to get that train of thought out. See, this one is an eco water treatment plant and these are just the regular water treatment plants. That's why we have so much of that disgusting sewage sliding out of our rivers. Just like it never existed there. And we can go ahead and remove this. And we can actually remove all of this, huh? Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, so where is... So that is connected. Uh, not quite, but it should be close. Uh, and then we can go ahead and throw down a few more of these eco water outlets. And connect those with pipes. And we should be in business here. Oh, I see. Ah, are you kidding me? Really? There we go. Okay, that should be everything connected. Uh, I think we'll need to run a power line down to this. Oh. And down to this. Hmm. So we'll have to go that side. And there we go. So that should connect everything. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's check out our water. Info views, let's go up to our water here. Uh, sewage treatment, come on now, kick in. We might need a few more of those, that's fine. Oh, so we're good at 150, but we don't wanna be at 150. So we need at least another treatment, there we go. There's another cargo leaving. Yeah, I think that was a cargo now that I look at that one. All right, so we've had two cargo shipments leave. Coming along nicely. We've got some merchandise exiting the city. Some products that are being exported to other towns. Now, let's go ahead and add another eco water treatment plant. Oh, autosave. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now let's check our, and that is a cruise ship. Look at that lobster tail on there. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick. How many? 14 passengers. All right, well, fair enough. However, you can see they they are staying out of their each other's way, which is what I wanted. I didn't want them coming too close to each other. I kind of wanted to actually do this in a different fashion and have one side and another side, but this seemed to be the best way to get everything set up uh, without causing much problem. And there we go, we have shipping routes, ladies and gentlemen. In just a little bit, all of this toxic brown sludge will start to wash out a little bit further. Uh, we will have a little 
pollution from our eco water treatment plants, but not nearly as much as everything else. We have quite a few issues to address around the city. However, we now have in operation two cargo, sorry, cargo shipping and a pedestrian shipping. We keep having some flooding problems there. We may have to readjust a little bit. However, that'll be okay. And we may actually run... Let's go ahead and do that now. Do we have any soil? Yeah, we have a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get it this height. Go to the smallest one that we have and the highest one that we have, and we may just go ahead and do this. And just run a little bit of a wave breaker here. To try and keep the river from affecting the water that's in the little bit of a sound area that we have. So let's see how this looks. Looks jagged and not straight, however, to start <laughs> we'll go ahead and go to the next one up and let's go ahead and do this and that should take care of that once that fills in that should give a little bit more of a breakwater so that the inside the sound is a little bit more calm and there we go looking all right we are shipping quite a bit. Yeah, you see what I mean? And if you want, you can go through, and I definitely will, but go through and add, uh, there we want, that's the middle ones we want. We want this set here. Add some rocks down at the end. Make this look a little bit more natural. You could add rocks all the way through here, which I've done before. But uh, adding a few rocks there, a few rocks here, just makes it look a little bit better, as you can see. But that gives us enough of a breakwater that all of this should calm down quite a bit and no more floods. And if we have to, we can add that, run that breakwater down a little bit more, but that should do the trick. And there you go. We are now losing population. No good. Oh, that's tough. Losing population. There we go. We're back on track. 75,000. We're going to go ahead and end this episode. We got so much more work to do. However, we have our shipping hubs set up. Finally. Finally. Uh, you should do this a lot sooner. You should do this in like episode 10. Uh, we should have just done this a long time ago. However, I just had this vision of exactly kind of what I wanted. Um, and we didn't really need it. We've been doing good on shipping. This should also reduce some of the traffic. I think we were at 74 whenever I started the episode. Uh, we're down to 77, which is fantastic. We don't have much traffic at all. And we have a lot of people on the roads. Uh, again, we still need to implement our subway system. That is a lot of traffic. Uh, still need to implement our subway system. However, this will also help the traffic. A lot of these trucks and stuff can just take their goods down here. Unload, get it shipped off. Here we go. Cruise ship coming in. How many people are you bringing to our fair town? 48 passengers visiting. Now, we need to get some subway terminals all around the city and a couple right here. Get these people boosted straight up to where they need to go, and we'll probably run this train line all the way down to connect both the cargo and the pedestrians. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us here at CCSC. Please like, share, and subscribe. Episode 26 in the books. We only have 5,000 more to grow before we unlock our ninth and final tile. Thank you very much for joining us here. It has been a pleasure. And again, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.